Games top employees of Reddit. What are some of your horror stories? Former employee. Two wonderful stories. One. Older lady brings in a bag. She looks like an addict and she wants to sell her Wii. I put my hand in the bag and it's soaking wet. Cat piss. She was furious I wouldn't take it. From that day forward. Made every customer take all trades out of bags themselves too. My first store was long and I had a kid and mom in back. Mom wasn't paying attention at all. Eight year old walking around. Gets really really quiet. Then mom rushes the kid out of the store. Go back there and he took a shit on the floor. Watch the tape. Mom finds him squatting. Let's him finish then takes him out. Also when you get done alphabetizing the Wii games and notice your hands are covered in mystery sticky stuff from all of the filthy children handling the cases. That was pretty gross. I used to be the ASM of a GameStop but nothing really out of the ordinary happened there. Just a lot of lingerers. When I was the manager of a local game store though, there was definitely a lot of wild stories. The one that sticks out the most is this old dude we called Psychoskxy who would come in every Monday morning, try to sell me or whoever was working bootleg porn DVDs. He would tell us they were good for busting fat ass nuts too and that he'd sell them to us super cheap. Every Monday he'd come in, open up his duffel bag of bootleg porn. Get refused then leave and come back the following Monday. This went on for almost three years. Never was an employee, but on the night Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, I was waiting in line and this kid rode up in the parking lot and starting bragging about how he got the first copy and held his copy out the window. After about 10 to 15 seconds of bragging and holding it outside the window, another kid ran up from behind the car, yanked the copy from his hand, and ran into the woods behind the GameStop. They never found the kid who took it. And the kid in the car started crying immediately. Worked at G's a long time ago but I'll never forget this one. One night a guy brought in a really dusty and dirty GameCube wanting cash of course. I asked him if it worked and he said he didn't know because he hadn't played it in a long time. I told him that we have to check every console and when I turned it on and opened the lip about a hundred roaches came running out all over the counter. Not a horror story but it always makes me laugh when I think about it. I worked at a big box store similar to Best Buy when the Wii U first came out. After months of Wii S being impossible to find we finally had some stock in. I was helping another customer on a busy day when a guy stopped me to ask the price on the Wii U. Customer, how much is the Wii U console? Me, it's $400 CAD plus tax. Customer, yeah that's too much money, can you do any better on the price? Me, yeah for sure, for you I can give it to you for $399.99. Customer, that's much better. It'll take two. Today, a customer brings in probably the grossest PlayStation 4 I've ever seen. I think oh no please don't have roaches he hold it on end and tap it against the floor and nothing falls out, nor is there and rustling of things moving. No telltale signs. I take it in. My co-worker decides he needs to find out why it is so dirty before cleaning it and opens it up. Inside is the world's first Lux Roach Hotel. Managed to keep the hoard contained in the box the console was going in. That console is gone now. Why are people gross? Worked there years ago during 2006 to 2009 ish. An adult guy came in and traded in a bunch of GameCube and PS2 games. One of them was a Mary Kate and Ashley game. The cases were clean but we always wiped them down. When my co worker got to the MKA game, I guess the Windex caused some sort of reaction because something came back to life and smeared all over the case. We threw the case away lol. Another guy would come in and only buy Leisure Suit Larry games and the Dead or Alive volleyball games. We used to play the console testing TV from the back room lol. It was a fun job, but some of the regulars. I have a lot more lol. I used to work for EB Games, GameStop in Canada, and worst horror story was probably getting hired. 6 hours a week, for a year and a half. Edit, holy upvote. Let me add a bit more details. My shifts would often get cancelled since no one would shop at the store anymore. Funny enough that location isn't there anymore. Not an employee but I was at GameStop in a not so great area a while back and there was a Spanish Karen there losing her shit. Apparently she wanted to return COD Black Ops 3 because it was too violent for her little kid. But since you can't return brand new open video games they wouldn't give her the money back. She was yelling and screaming at them to take it back this and that. The insane part is she said that she would be returned with backup and all this shit. She was literally threatening violence while saying she's against it in the game. Karen logic transcends language and culture. My husband worked there for a decade and has tons of stories. Two I remember were colon one. He was checking out a console that someone wanted to trade in and found a heroin needle inside the system. Two. Someone pooped their pants in the store and walked around leaving little turds around the place before ultimately leaving. 
Not games top but game in the UK. Not really a horror story more of a funny one. A woman was trading in her son's old games and we had to check the discs for scratches etc. Opened up a case for a game to see the DVD name T. I. L. F. Underneath it said teachers I like to FK. I didn't show but I think she saw because she went slightly red I just passed her back the case and said this one has the wrong game in. Better son got shouted at when she went home. As soon as she left I had to go upstairs and just cry my eyes out ha ha ha. A homeless man approached me outside during store closing with his pants down to his knees. A Walkman radio blaring with what sounds like push it to the limit from Scarface. A hand presumably inserted and or fondling his anus and he asked me if I had a cig he could bum. There was a massive electrical fire in our store which caused the sprinklers to go off and flood our store. The firemen couldn't get into the store for a bit because our district manager didn't tell us to give them the new key once we changed the locks. We lost a huge amount of consoles, games, and collectibles. So, for about three weeks, they had us spending our time recovering our product in the most inefficient manner possible, with a bunch of 18 to 26 year old man and woman, children scrambling about like headless chickens. Former. But I once had a guy buy $200 of newish used games, like a month after release. I tried to sign him up on the membership card, $11 slash once a year, because he'd not only pay $50 less, but the card would pay for itself in the transaction. He looks at me and says I hate you, your company, and everyone who is associated with GameStop, no I don't want your fucking card. Like okay bro guess you like spending extra money like an idiot. Not an employee neither horror but I was on Fanoc basically my country's games top, and I witnessed an employee trying to convince a couple and their daughters that a Switch had retro compatibility with Wii U and Wii and even PS Vita, and he even dared to show a PS Vita and Switch cartridge to show them how similar it is, apparently the parents were tech savvy and so were the daughters. That employee left the store and will only come back as a customer. Former Games Top employee here. This story isn't really game related. Three times I saw my manager toss a coin into the ass crack of one of my fellow employees when she would bend over. I'm not sure if this was a thing between them two, but her ass crack was almost always showing and I never see her complain about it. A few months into the job I received a call that sexual harassment was filed against him. I'm guessing he was trying to fill a lot of coin slots. Oh boy, this is my time to shine. I was the only female employee at our Games Top which set me up for all sorts of dumb girl who doesn't know video games assumptions. I didn't mind that nearly as much as I minded getting hit on, though. This one guy who looked a lot like Louis C.K. would come in on the regular and try to chat me up while shopping. Eventually he came in just to talk to me, and then finally to bring me presents, the bottom of a Mountain Dew bottle filled with rocks and origami flowers and a hentai VHS tape. There were no words for that moment, honestly. I quit shortly after. Former employee here. Dad ignoring his child repeatedly saying he had to use the bathroom. Eventually kid screams at father you made me poop my pants. Kid more or less pooped on the floor of the store as the father was browsing games. He tried to bail but I made him clean it up. I stood in front of the exit blocking it and told him he needed to clean it. Handed him cleaning stuff and he did it so ill give him that. Smelled awful for the record. Man. If I had a nickel for every time I got kicked out of the mall for throwing nickels at the game's top employees. I'd go down to the mall and throw them at games top employees until they asked me to leave. Not really anything to do with customers, tbh. However, I was shot at and held at gunpoint, and robbed at night while working at GameStop. They fought me tooth and nail to deny me workers comp for the first two weeks after that I took off. My manager also demoted me because I asked not to work nights for only two weeks once I returned, until I was comfortable again. The robbers came close to executing my ASM right next to me because the safe was on a time lock so they couldn't open it. The same group of robbers ended up hitting that same store four more times after I quit. Because GameStop refused to hire adequate security. Former GameStop employee from NYC, I went on vacation for a week to see a friend. Decided to extend my stay a little while and when I went to change my train ticket, I had no funds. When I pulled up my online banking, I noticed a large charge to Sprint under the name of my general manager. Apparently, she used my direct deposit info to pay for her overdue phone bill. She was arrested on fraud and fired. I'd like to formally apologize to all the game's top employees who had to hear me on the other end of the phone ask, you all have battle toads? Very sorry.
so gamers have the stereotype of having really bad hygiene. The worst I ever experienced was the 23-year-old who smelled like he never showered in his entire life. He was a pretty hefty guy and smelled absolutely rancid. We had to literally hold our breaths or breath out of our mouths in order not to cringe at the smell. When he left the odor didn't and we had to go next door to ask for air freshener. The worst part was he was moving to Amsterdam in a day or two and if he didn't shower and boarded the plane I believe he would have killed someone. I was waiting in line at a GameStop and this kid was selling 6 PS2 games. The employee says he can get 6 bucks credit. The kid says 6 bucks each. Nope 6 bucks for everything. Kid says nah forget it and takes the games and walks out. There was also this time my mom pre-ordered Left 4 Dead for me and I was 16 and they wouldn't give me the game even though it was paid for and I had the receipt because I wasn't 17 my mom was so pissed because she had to get down to get it for me. I worked there from around 2004 to 2007. And two main things stick out, turning on systems to test them and having live bugs come out due to the filthy conditions people would bring the items from, being a female and working under a SXIS district manager. Not really horror stories, but apparently it happens a lot. Person brings PlayStation or Xbox and that stops working because roaches died inside it or tried to make a nest. Pretty nasty stuff. Not an employee, but when I was at the midnight release of Halo 4, Four guys at the front of the line got their copies and bolted out of the store, being DKS to everyone and pretty much taunting us with the fact they got it first. Weird flex, but okay. Well it had been raining that night, so when they took off in their car and took the turn onto the street going a little too fast, they got into a pretty bad car accident and I believe two of them had to be taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Remember people, don't be assholes and karma will generally leave you alone. What's the trade value on dry jizz VHS tapes? Not my story but my wife's. She was 8 months pregnant and got robbed at gunpoint. When she went on leave to have our son she got laid off for not following company policy. GameStop management can eat cow cum. Half of these comments are literally just people going it's a mom and I'm disappointed that none of you have any better jokes. I worked there during the launch of the Wii and two days before Christmas, an old woman came in to buy one for her grandkids. I explained to her that every store was sold out considering it was the hottest item of the season and she told me that I ruined her grandkids Christmas. I looked her dead in the face and and said no lady, you ruined your grandkids Christmas. The district manager wasn't very happy about that, 